This is the Express Lores version of the RadioMaster TX16S Mark II. And while that's an absolute mouthful to say, it's not actually a mouthful to be able to set up. It's really, really simple. In this video, we're going to go through how to set this up with Express LRS, and there's two ways to do it. You can either flash over Wi Fi or you can flash using HTX pass through. The first thing you need to do is download the latest version of the Express LRS configurator. After you've taken care of that, you simply need to open it up. You need to select Radio Master from the device category and then select the TX16S as your device. For most pilots, you're going to leave it as regulatory domain ISU 2400. Click binding phrase because binding phrase makes it really, really simple to bind to any receiver that shares that same passphrase. Under network options, select your home Wi-Fi SSID and your home Wi-Fi password. This means that when you go to update your radio, it's automatically going to connect to your home Wi-Fi network and make this process a lot easier. After we've selected all of that, we're now going to click the build button instead of build and flash. This is going to go ahead and build the firmware file. And after that's done, a window is going to pop up and simply drag the firmware.bin file over to your desktop. From here, you're going to open up a new web browser window and then go over to your radio. Hold down the SYS button and you want to scroll down to the little script that says Express LRS. After that loads, head down to Wi-Fi connectivity and hit enable Wi-Fi and then OK to confirm. From here, all you need to do is wait for the Wi-Fi network to show up and click connect. The password is Express LRS in lowercase. Head to that browser window we opened up before, type in 10.0.0.1. That's going to load up the flashing page, hit browse, and then select the firmware.bin file we dragged to the desktop. And then hit upload and away you go. This is going to upload that firmware file to your radio and flash it. The next way is using HTX pass-through, and that basically means using a USB cable. First thing we need to do, plug a USB-C cable into the top of the radio, and then select USB debugging. Now all we need to do is set up our device options the same way as we did just before, and click build and flash. This is going to then go ahead and flash the internal module with Express LRS on your radio. If you're a HD0 or analog pilot, you probably are going to want to also flash the Express LRS backpack, which means that you can use the Lua script in your radio to change the video channel in your goggles as well as in your video transmitter. So we're now going to head over to the backpack tab. The first time you're going to flash backpack, you really need to do it through USB. I tried to do it via Wi-Fi and it kept failing on me. So USB is the easiest way to flash the backpack for the first instance. So again, like before, we're going to plug in the USB-C cable to the top and we're going to select USB debugging. We head over to the backpack tab. We're going to select our device category being TX. Our device is going to be Radio Master TX16S backpack. We're going to leave the flashing method as HTX pass through and we're going to set our binding phrase and our home Wi-Fi details as before. From here we now click build and flash. That's going to go ahead and do its thing and flash the Express LRS backpack. The final step is to go ahead and set up a model. And the way we do that is hold down the scroll wheel and select model. From here we can press the button once and hit create model and then click the return button to go back and then the model button once. And we're now going to go through the model setup. So you can go through, set up your model name as you wish, but the more important stuff is down the very bottom where we go to internal RF. We want to set internal RF to be CRSF. And we want to leave external RF off. Trainer, we want to make sure that is selected as master jack. Then from here, we need to simply go through to our mixes tab. Make sure that channel five is set to the switch that you want to use for army. Add all your different switches from channel five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is your first experience with Express LRS. You're probably going to need to understand how all the different hardware is compatible to make sure that you don't mess up. So watch this video here where I simply explain how the Express LRS ecosystem works. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.